So, today's recipe is going to be, and this is an odd one because I don't normally do full recipes on Bad Food Blog, but this one's going to start off really well and then it's going to go bad when you see some of the ingredients I'm using. But to start with, the best part about a meal is often the sauce. So we're going to do the sauce properly. And by properly, I mean I've gone to allrecipes.com. Yeah, and I know I could bring this up properly, but you know, we have the technology. And I'm going to do the katsu chicken curry. First of all, I'm going to do the sauce well. And then I'm going to cheat with the chicken. Because, well, let's face it, katsu chicken curry is, you know, it's much about the sauce. More about the sauce than it's the chicken. I mean, the rice cooker is going to cook the rice, I'm going to cook the sauce, and the oven is going to cook the southern fried chicken. And if you're under any delusion when you have katsu chicken curry that you're having anything other than deep fried chicken, you're deluded. Okay, so we'll start off with two, ta two tablespoons full of sunflower oil, two onions, which I'm going to slice, five garlic cloves, which I don't have, so I'm using garlic granules. That'd be two tablespoons, I believe, to do five, equivalent to five. Uh, sorry, no, teaspoons. Teaspoons, <laughs> two tablespoons of garlic powder. That would kill someone um, if you're a vampire. Uh, two medium carrots. I have frozen ones which I'm going to put in this bowl and show you later. And uh, four, four teaspoons of curry powder, which I have this rather fetching Caribbean hot curry powder. Cheating a little bit there. Uh, 600 milliliters of stock cube, which is going to be water plus these two stock cubes in here. Two teaspoons of honey. Now, I don't have honey, so I'm going to go with golden syrup. There we go. Golden syrup. Buy silver spoon in case you're wondering if they're not sponsoring this. And uh, four teaspoons of soy sauce. I've gone for premium light soy sauce by Lee Kong Lee Klee. Uh, one bay leaf. It's important to have the right flavors. And a teaspoon of garam masala. And I've got some pepper to season it because uh, it's gonna need it. Okay, so I'm gonna get on. I'll um, film it at points along the way, but this is bad food blog. I don't do a this is how to. I mean, you gotta mix these together. Let's look at what the instructions say. Heat the oil. Well, not to slice the onions. That's a disaster if you do it the wrong way around. Put the garlics and the onions together. Stir in the carrots. Cook over a low heat for 10 to 12 minutes. That'll soften everything. Nice. Add the flour and the curry powder. Cook for one minute. Gramly stir in combine. Add the uh, honey substitute. The soy sauce and the bay leaf. Slowly bring to the boil. Hmm, not bad. Doesn't say when to. Uh... Hmm. Interesting, but it doesn't say when to put in the stock. Ah, gradually stir in the stock before the honey and the soy sauce. Okay, that's easy enough. Pour the curry syrup over, sauce over the chicken and serve. So basically, the um, the sauce is the hard part. The chicken, I mean, the chicken they're talking about doing is basically covering it in, and deep frying it, which is, you know, I'm going to use pre-deep fried oven cook, you know, southern fried chicken from McCain or something. It's just easier. At the end of the day, it's going to taste better. My son will not eat this spicy curry sauce. So he's going to have rice and chicken with a little bit of sauce on the side because with a five-year-old you're not really going to get them to eat something as spicy as this but if he's got the option to try it on the side of the plate he becomes interested in it and after three or four times of trying it he might start eating it now that would be my work calling thank you very much here we go <clears throat> the onions are going in the pan see as i'm softening them not browning them don't need to wait too much just tap the bowl together more now. Mm -hmm. Don't they look nice? Let's just have an extreme close up of how nice the onions look as they're cooking. So here we are. After the video last time, I've put the, uh, all the ingredients into the pan as per the instructions, which was fairly simple. You just soften the onions, added the carrots, soften them for 10 minutes. Now this has to simmer for 20 minutes. And I've stirred in all of the sauce, which only took about five minutes, but now it's got to simmer for 20 minutes. I've got to turn it down a bit, it's only on number two, but still boiling over. And as you can see, it is yummy looking. It's 
going to be a shame to sieve out those carrots, but uh, that's what the instructions say to do. It's going to taste nice, though. Come here, man. I'm just getting the chicken ready. And so here is the chicken. Well, my son's getting some turkey chips. I think that's Thunderbird 1 and 2 Thunderbird 2s. Oh, could be a ghost and a lantern. I don't know. I think it's Thunderbird. Here we go. They're frozen chicken pieces. And they are now going in the oven. Yum, yum, yum. That's the noise in the background. The fan in the back of the oven is getting quite noisy. And the rice cooker is doing the rice. And the kitchen's a mess because I've been cooking for long enough now. So, as you can see, the sauce got a little darker after putting the soy sauce in and the honey. Well, golden syrup anyway. And uh, tastes wonderful. Can't wait for the rice and the chicken to be ready now. So this needs another 10 minutes simmering. So this is the step where you strain the sauce, and as you can see I've used a metal colander. I have a white plastic one, but with this gum masala and cumin in the sauce, I'm pretty sure that it would have stained it for good. Just trying to get the last of the sauce through. I might make a soup out of this stuff, because I don't really want to waste it. It's nicely seasoned vegetables, they're... they look yummy. And the unfortunate part is this recipe calls for them just to be an intermediate stage. I'm trying to get as much of the sauce out as possible. Mmm, that, that actually looks really yummy. I'm going to put that in a bowl and save it for later. And as you can see, I'm now serving up. So my son's got the small bowl. Sorry about that, just adjusting the camera, I'm serving up. Uh, my wife's one, she likes more rice than me, mine, my son's, and uh, obviously the bowl of vegetables, which I'm going to eat, but I don't think my wife will. So my son's one is uh, in a bowl. Oops, shouldn't really be using my hands for that. And here is the chicken. Whoops. <laughs> now, for the last part. The curry sauce, which there is fortunately a lot of. All over the chicken and over the rice for me. Just over the chicken or over the rice as well for you? And there's a tiny bit for Max on the, on the rice only, okay? Okay. So, here we are, the food finished. Let's have a quick close up look. That's my son's chicken katsu curry, which is actually turkey shapes from Brennan Matthew, I think. There's mine, and there's my wife's katsu chicken curry. So you can see I've spilled a little bit over the edge on the plates. And there's a bowl of leftover ingredients, which I'm probably going to eat on the side. I'm going to go there on my plate. Okay, thank you. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will link to the recipe down below.